Whoa, what is up on my camera? There we go. What is up, everybody? Welcome to the Daily Raw episode 208, if you can believe it. <clears throat> and for those of you guys that do not know, the Daily Raw is a show that I do Tuesdays through Friday, Tuesdays through Fridays at about 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time, and it's really just an opportunity for you guys to hop on, ask your raw feeding and fresh food-related questions. I do my best to answer them, and if I can't answer them, then I try to send you somewhere that can answer them. Now, also, for those of you guys that do not know who this dude here in, on the screen is that's talking to you and is going to talk about some stuffs today, uh, my name is Scott I started this website right here, rawfeeding101.com. That's where the balanced meal plans are, the speedy balanced meal plans, the boot camps, the course, the consultations, the free guides, the equipment and supplement store, which we will be looking at today to cover our topic. And if you are a beginner, I highly recommend that you go and check out the website, at least the free raw feeding guides for the adults and for the puppies, because it's going to answer a lot of your beginner questions. So today... <coughs> still feeling a little blah but getting better uh, but today we are going to be talking about vitamin e and is your dog getting enough of it okay and if you're not providing some vitamin e a very very simple solution for it and give me just one second here okay <clears throat> and again i i apologize but throat still a little bit wonky on me today <laughs> all right let's get our chats brought up here and then we will get our topic of the day started which again is vitamin e is your dog getting enough of it and if they aren't how can you fix it so let's take a look we got janet st pierre saying good evening from northern new york hello janet how are you janet's one of my group boot camp graduates uh alicia is saying hello from california hello we literally got coast to coast here people <laughs> um give me one second i'm going to kill the wi-fi on my phone because <clears throat> i think it's fine for you guys but it's getting all wonky on me uh krista reed is here saying hello hello how are you my friend uh justine taylor who i just finished a consultation with is here saying hey scott what's going on justine how are you doing um <clears throat> but let's talk about let's talk about vitamin e okay <clears throat> oh and justine this probably goes for you too i don't know for sure with what it is that you're feeding but you should probably add what i'm about to talk about too um <clears throat> and michelle i think that's how i say it michelle is saying hey from the midwest how are you doing uh, Barbara is saying thanks for doing this. Hello from Mount Clemens, Michigan. We are all over the place. All over the place. Where in the Midwest are you, Michelle? We are in the Midwest as well. We're in Utah. Utah. <clears throat> and we got like the whole country covered. We got California. We got New York. We got Michigan. We got Utah. <laughs> um, and Michelle says very interested in this topic. And Haley Sams is saying good evening. Uh, and Michelle is saying Illinois. Gotcha. Well, it's very, very simple. Okay. So what the general recommendations for vitamin E is, is about one to two IU of um, vitamin E per pound of body weight. Uh, Rachel Odessa is saying aloha. I wonder where you're from. <laughs> Savannah is saying hi from Ohio. We are all over the country today, folks. <clears throat> but Vitamin E is about one to two IUs per pound of body weight, okay? But it really gets much more simple than that because most diets are deficient in vitamin E. They just are. Homemade DIY diets are anyways, okay? Now, <clears throat> we were looking at a meal today for somebody in one of my calls. I can't remember which one. Uh, And without this vitamin E supplement, they were only getting 47% of their daily vitamin E, along with everything else in the meal being balanced and at the right amounts and the right calories, all that stuff, and they were still short on vitamin E. But there's a very, 
very simple solution to this. And I want to clear something up because a lot of people don't really believe the, the dosage of how little that it is, but I want to clarify something, okay? So again, it's about one to two IU per pound of body weight that is recommended for your dogs, all right? But again, it gets even simpler than that. Now, let me show you guys the supplement that I use myself, okay? And that goes on pretty much every single meal plan that I make for people, okay? So here we've got rawfeeding101.com, okay? If we go to the resources section, there's this link, recommended supplements and equipment. If you click right here, click here to visit the store, okay? Now this is a Raw Feeding 101 Amazon storefront. It's basically just like an affiliate thing. And if someone buys something off of this page, Amazon gives me like two cents. So the only reason that I made this page was not to get that two cents, but just to condense everything into one place. Because people ask all the time, like, what supplements should I get and where can I get them? Or where can I get a scale? Or where can I get uh, grinders, all that kind of stuff. And so I just made this thing very quickly over the course of a couple of days. And we've got raw feeding supplements, containers, food scales, grinders, books, knife sharpeners, cleavers, kitchen shears, knives, cutting boards, basically all the stuff that DIY raw feeders use all the time. Even some of this stuff people are going to use, even if they're pre-made feeding. Cause if you're feeding based on ounces, you're still going to need a scale, even if it's pre-made, right? But Let's go into the raw feeding supplements, okay? And here is what we are looking at. This is now vitamin E oil. Let me see if I can make this a little bit bigger for you. Now vitamin E oil. And you can see that on the front of the bottle, it says that it contains 23,000 IU, okay? So we were talking about the IU thing before. But if we look on the back of this bottle, it's giving a dosage, I don't know why it's not making it bigger, but it's giving a dosage of uh, eight drops. That's how many uh, drops there is in a serving, which is way too much, okay? Now, what most of you are going to want to do with this vitamin E oil is you're gonna want to give one, maybe two drops a day if you have a very, very large dog, you can go with the two drops and it shouldn't be a problem. Even something like a German Shepherd's and bigger is not going to have a problem with two drops. But most of you guys with 50 pounds or less dogs, a single drop is going to be plenty. Now, here's the clarification part that a lot of people get messed up on. <clears throat> you can see up here that this is a you know, dropper style lid meaning that there's a plastic tube that attaches to this lid, goes down in, you can kind of see it there in the middle, and you're pulling stuff out, kind of like old school medicine used to. Now, some people think that when we say one to two drops, that we mean one to two droppers. No. <laughs> no, I, I don't want you guys taking this thing, filling it up full, and then squeezing the entire contents out, okay? We literally mean one to two drops. Now, there are some supplements out there that contain additional amounts of vitamin E, like Bonnie and Clyde's fish oil, for example, that may take care of your vitamin E needs and would make this unnecessary. But adding that extra drop isn't going to hurt either. So if you're not sure if you're giving enough vitamin E, pick some of this up it's very very inexpensive lasts in the fridge until it's gone and literally one to two drops if you have a large dog then you're taken care of it really doesn't need to be any more complicated than that yes you can do the math on the one to two i use of vitamin e per pound that your dog weighs but everybody's pretty much going to fall into the same spot because you can't do a quarter of a drop or a half of a drop or anything like that effectively because really a drop is not a you know effective <laughs> unit of measurement there can be small drops big drops etc <clears throat> so even if you do go through and do all of that one to two i use math for your dog's body weight it's going to be one or less drops and that one drop is still going to be fine or you're gonna have a really big dog that can get away with two drops as well. It really doesn't need to be any more complicated than that. 
<clears throat> so if you guys are feeding DIY meals at home and you are not adding vitamin E or a different supplement like Bonnie and Clyde's that mentions that it has additional vitamin E in it, I really encourage you to pick some of this up. Uh, let me see. Do I have... See if I can pull up a random example. Mm. Okay, so this is just a random meal. Give me just one second. I'm going to pull this over where you guys can see it. So this is a random meal based on 1,000 calories. Okay. It's all based on 1,000 calories. <clears throat> now, before I show this to you guys and um, I show this example to you, I want you to know two things. <laughs> One, that this recipe is not balanced, so don't use this recipe right now. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> and two, do not go download this software and start using it unless you have someone teach you how to use it. Maybe a friend uses it or you're signing up or have signed up for our boot camps on the website, but don't go use the software if you don't have someone teach you. I can almost guarantee that A, you'll probably get so frustrated trying to figure it out that you'll want to huck your computer across the room. But two, there is just not sufficient data inside the software by default to do it right and safely so you will do more harm than good i can almost guarantee if you just go download the software and start using it and you, there's a ton of people <clears throat> that are in the chat right now that have gone through the boot camps and tell you that trying to use it by yourself without getting some help is not a good idea but again this recipe is not balanced so i don't want to hear about it <laughs> uh because it's just something i was messing around with but i want to show you the vitamin e okay so this is the pet diet designer software okay now this does not have a vitamin e supplement in it and you can see that we got all kinds of other good stuff oysters we've got fish we've got organs meat all kinds of stuff heart uh chicken wings we eggs etc okay even with all that in there this is only at 66 percent of this dog's vitamin daily e needs daily vitamin e needs there we go hopefully this is a little bit bigger so this right here is what i'm talking about it's only at 66 percent okay and the vitamin a is way too high again this breast pee is not balanced don't follow it it's not balanced <laughs> um <clears throat> but if we add one if i can spell today you guys vitamin e oil we add our now vitamin E oil to this recipe and give it one drop, then boom, our vitamin E is taken care of. Now, this says that it's at 500%, so I would focus on giving a small drop, okay? This is what I'm talking about, not using the whole dropper, okay? <laughs> Don't use the whole dropper. It's going to be way too much. Even at the numbers here of one standard size drop, it's still way too much. So a small drop. So if any of you guys have gotten meal plans from me that have said a quarter of a drop or a half of a drop, that's me telling you this is really one small drop, no more. All right. So that's the point I wanted to make here is that there is no reason to have your dog deficient on vitamin E. It is so, so easy to go and pick up one of these now vitamin E oils. They sell them on Amazon. They sell them on iHerb.com. They sell them in most, you know, health food, hippy dippy type stores. They'll sell it as well. <clears throat> There's no reason for your dog to be vitamin E deficient with your homemade raw diet. It's too easy to fix it. Too easy too cheap it just don't do it because most of you that have homemade diets where you haven't gotten a meal plan from someone um, or you're not feeding pre-mates those of you guys that are doing diy you're probably vitamin e deficient if you're not adding a vitamin e supplement so <clears throat> again if you want to get if you guys want to be able to find this easily just go to rawfeeding101.com go to the resources go to the equipment and supplement store 
click on, click here to visit, go to the raw feeding supplements, and boom, there's your vitamin E oil. Okay? Super, super, super inexpensive. It's like $15 or something like that. Yeah, see all buying options. $16, $17, $16, $23? No. Uh-uh. Don't need to pay that. There's 16 and 17s all over the place. And the other place that you can find them at a lot of the time is iHerb.com. And the nice thing about iHerb.com is that it will sell outside of the U.S. as well. You don't have to go to like Amazon.ca or Amazon.iu or whatever it happens to be for you. You can just go to iHerb.com. And it, I'm pretty sure they ship all over the place. So <clears throat> just go type in now vitamin E oil and boom, there it is right there. $12.81 for one fluid ounce. And trust me, one fluid ounce is plenty. It'll last a long time. <laughs> so there you go, you guys. That's vitamin E. Uh, general notes are one to two IU per pound of body weight, but keep it simple. And if you have a medium to small dog, give one drop to one very small drop. And if you have a large to gigantic dog, one, maybe two drops. Okay. <clears throat> This doesn't need to be any more complicated than that. So let's go ahead and take a look at our comments here. Mm. Haley's saying from sunny Arizona. Well, hello, hello, my friend. Um, Amy K is saying hello, hello, Amy, and then saying that she's from Florida. Hello from Florida, hello. Uh, Brandy saying, my German Shepherd dog is one drop. My lab is half a drop. LOL, one dropper. My heart fell. Yikes. Yeah, people people do it a lot. And it's why, one of the reasons why I'm going to do a bunch of these uh, live stream types is like, you know, this nutrient, that nutrient. Are you getting enough? How to get enough? How not to overdo it? <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah, keep it simple. One, maybe two drops if you have a Gigantor dog. Uh, Michelle is saying, what about smaller dogs under 10 pounds? How can I dilute it? If you have a teeny, 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 teeny little dog, then you can give it, you know, every couple of days, like give a small drop every couple of days. Because the amount that you'll be giving if you try to do it daily is going to be very, very small. You'll still be fine if you do it that way, but just be, make it easier on yourself and do it once every couple of days. <clears throat> but... You could also, if you had a very small dog, you could do something like use a product like Bonnie and Clyde's fish oil that also has vitamin E in it and then just give the fish oil every day and it's going to have those trace amounts of the vitamin E in it as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Janet St. Pierre is saying, do you add vitamin E daily? I usually rest supplements on the weekend. Everything that goes on my meal plans, I give them daily. Some things don't always end up on that meal plan, but yes. I give the supplements all daily. Uh, Teresa, hello, my friend. Speaking of boot campers, uh, is saying hello. Hello, Teresa. Diane saying hi there, Scott. What's going on, Diane? Another graduated boot camper. <laughs> uh, Janet says, uh-oh, are we supposed to store that in the fridge? I put all of my oils in the fridge as soon as I get them. Even if I haven't opened them yet, I put them in the fridge. Um, Diane says, I'm sitting inside with him. Hmm? I'm confused. I'm very confused. Uh, it doesn't say on the bottle to refrigerate. It doesn't, but I do anyways. I do anyways. Uh, just to be safe. Because I'm not freezing it, so I'm not going to be damaging it that way. I'm just keeping it cool. Because our, our house gets hot sometimes. <laughs> Uh, Teresa says, I keep it with my vitamins. Diane says, whoops, sorry, not for 101. <laughs> uh, Diane's commenting in the wrong places. <clears throat> uh, would you suggest that I do that also since my dogs are small? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Or feed. Well, you can't feed the fish. Um, or can you? No, I'm thinking of somebody else that had an issue. I don't know if you can get Bonnie and Clyde's. You can check uh, Amazon.ca to see if you can get Bonnie and Clyde's fish oil. You, if you can, you can use that, but you've already got your omega-3 supplement like we were talking about on your consultation earlier today. So I'd probably just rotate that uh, vitamin E once every couple days. Still keep them small drops. 
Uh, Sandy saying, hey, Scott, jumping on late, just finished my meal prep. Awesome. You should make a post in the group <clears throat> so we can seize it. Tracy says, thanks for reminding me, Janet. I don't know if that's about the fridge or what. Uh, Rachel saying, I have that software and I'm trying to learn. It is crazy. I'm telling you. And here's the thing, Rachel. I'm not trying to discourage you, but here's the truth so you don't waste a bunch of time. Is that Montu is mad. That's that's the truth, I guess. Why are we mad? Our neighbor took his son and their dog for a walk and I think they're coming back. <laughs> Or we're mad at nothing. I don't know. Uh, but here's the truth, Rachel. There's so much missing data and supplements that you will almost certainly need to use in 90% plus of cases that isn't in the software either or is in the software but isn't a good representation of the dosages and concentrations that are available on the market today for the most part. So unless you're getting the good data like calcium and phosphorus info for all your bones and all the food and nutrition data for all the supplements. Um, it's it's going to be an uphill battle for sure. <laughs> um, <clears throat> it will oxidize like other oils. So cool, dry place. Hmm. Interesting. I'm gonna have to look into that more then. Uh, Cisco is saying, what's up, Scott? What's going on, Cisco? Hopefully your t-shirt that you won yesterday gets to you soon. It said it should be there by the 6th. I think that it said. I think so. Uh, James is saying, thank you, good info. You are welcome, sir. Uh, speaking of gigantic dogs, James. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Karina is saying, I am late. Oh, my Lanta. Thanks, Scott, for all your help. You are welcome. Question on answers. Can I also feed an occasional sardine? Yes. Yes. Yes, you can. There's... Here's the thing, you guys. We know a lot. Like, we know a lot about minimum requirements for stuff. You know, what is the minimum requirement for this nutrient and that nutrient and on and on. Safe upper limits, for the most part, there is some stuff that we have good data on. But largely, safe upper limits is a very gray area. It is not very understood. Even if you go and look at the NRC standards for safe upper limits for all these different nutrients some of them are just going to be flat out blank they're not going to have one there because we have no idea so you adding a sardine is you're fine you're fine hi tutu what you doing down there you just taking a nap i'm just taking a nap down there um <clears throat> Sandy says, I sent you a PM, duck and pork on the menu for the week. Well, let's take a gander, shall we? Let's take a gander. Ah. Uh -huh. Looks like someone's got some green tripe going on. I'm assuming that these are ground duck wings right here. Here's your pork. Here's your kale and spinach mix, I'm guessing. This looks like a frozen mold of some kind can't tell what fish those are they might be sardines <clears throat> and then i think that that up there is a is that a mussel that's up there is that what's up there it's hard to tell but it looks good well done my friend well done <clears throat> do 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 uh just looked at the flora uh, flora four has it and fish oil has 15 iu and one teaspoon give one quarter teaspoon one quarter of a teaspoon is that okay so if we're going with your rule of one to two iu per pound of body weight and i think that you said that one of your dogs was 12 pounds then that would mean the minimum that you would want would be 12 iu so that should be fine. The floor four has it in the fish oil. So I don't know how much the floor four has exactly, but it sounds like you're getting close for sure. It sounds like you're getting close. <clears throat> Jen is saying late here, but I got my recipe from you. Um, so should be enough for my doggos. Yeah, if you've got a meal plan from me, then you just follow the meal plan. 
And if it doesn't just say one drop and it says like a quarter drop or a half drop, it means a small drop. <laughs> small, not a dropper, small drop. Uh, Karina's saying, look at that. Yeah, it's pretty, it's a pretty sight to see all put together meals. Um, <clears throat> Diane says, I'm sitting on my kennel with a gorgeous GSD border named Bowie. <laughs> Bowie. David Bowie. I don't know. Maybe that person really liked David Bowie. Um, Heidi's saying, got on late. I grow my own wheat grass for my pub. That's cool. Um, how should I feed her? How should I feed it to her? Pureed? Yeah, probably. <clears throat> um honestly what i would probably do depending on the volume that you're doing is i would just put it in with the rest of my veggie stuffs that's what i'd do same thing you're doing whether it's steaming and then uh pureeing it that way then i'd just do it the same way mm -hmm. diane is saying smelts it might be smelts they kind of do look like smelts don't they diane says or bowie knives or bowie knives yeah yeah but then it'd be buoy depending on who you ask on the internet People get really upset about that for some reason, about whether it's a Bowie knife or a Bowie knife. It's like, does it matter? Does it really matter that much? <laughs> uh, sardines and smelt. We were both right, Diane. It was both of them. And yes, I portion all of my organs out during the week to save time. Just pop in a pre-measured piece during prep. Same goes for the tripe because I don't want to endure that smell more than once a month. <laughs> uh <clears throat> Uh, Heidi's saying how much wheatgrass has so much stuff in it that it would really depend on what you were adding it for. Like here's my, I don't know if you want to call it a rule or a philosophy or what, but the thing I do is that for the most part, every single ingredient that goes into one of the recipes that I make either for my dogs or the meal plan clients is everything has a purpose. There's a specific reason that it's there. Just like yesterday, how I would, or not yesterday, the day before, I was talking about iron needs for puppies specifically, <clears throat> which means in that meal, there's either going to be a um, uh, beef spleen in there, or there's going to be an iron supplement. Today, like we were talking about with vitamin E, I need vitamin E in these diets. There's not enough that's going to come along with the other foods, so I'm going to add that vitamin e supplement um let's see here diane says tomato tomato pretty much um heidi's saying for vitamin e and for manganese she also gets muscles and tripe for manganese what you can do is you can just go to the uh, nutritional profile for uh, the wheatgrass and look at how much vitamin e is in it and then make sure that you're meeting your amounts. If you know how much is in the diet already and you know that there's not enough, which is why you're adding it to get more vitamin E, just make up the difference. Feed enough of it to make up the difference. You just need to know the numbers. Uh, she also gets muscles and tripe for manganese. And along with your tripe is going to come a lot of iron, a lot of copper, and a lot of zinc as well. And your muscles, of course, are going to give you uh, manganese and some copper and some iron, just like your um tripe is tripe has a lot more in it than just manganese doesn't get it it doesn't get enough credit <laughs> it doesn't get enough credit <clears throat> sunflower butter as well is good for vitamin e see there you go there you go teresa's got some knowledge on her ladies and gentlemen she we were doing her boot camp today and i got to look at some of her folders and she's got like just like certifications galore, all kinds of stuff. Um, how do you sing? Okay, thanks. Can't do any synthetics and tolerance to everything. I, I hear you. Um, so that's good. Yeah, just look up the data for it. If you go to Ronnie's website, perfectlyrawesome.com, go to the nutrient section, go to the vitamins and look at vitamin E uh, and several other things, wheatgrass is going to show up on that list and she's going to have a data source for it. There's going to be a little word that says data source. If you click on the data source, it's going to take you to where the actual full-blown per 100 grams nutritional data breakdown is. And then you can just look at how much vitamin E is in there. <clears throat> oh, I'll do to you. 
because it smells wicked tripe that is yeah tripe doesn't bug me maybe it's because i grew up in an area where there are horses everywhere and it just smells like horses if you guys know what i'm talking about but tripe doesn't bug me tripe doesn't bug me at all i know i'm close to alone on that but it just doesn't bug me <clears throat> let's see here let's see uh this is a cool link of different vitamins a dog needs and why are you talking about the supplement store on the website it's a, there's a lot of stuff on there uh james is saying when you use tripe is it green or regular green always always green the regular stuff you don't want to feed like the stuff you can find in the grocery store that's white don't feed it um eh, heidi's giving a thumbs up oh good i'm glad it was helpful glad it was helpful <clears throat> But all right, you guys, I got a little more work to do before the evening is over, and then I've got the group boot camp calls tomorrow. So I'm going to let you guys go here. Uh, make sure to go and check out the website for the supplement and equipment link that we showed earlier. Also, remember that's where the balanced meal plans are, the boot camps, the course, the consultations, and the free guides are. So definitely, if you are a beginner, make sure you go check that out. Or if you're wanting to use how. Can't talk, it's Friday. <laughs> If you're wanting to learn how to use that software we were seeing, go and check out the boot camps and so on. So I will see you guys on Tuesday for episode 209 of the Daily Raw. I have no idea what we'll be talking about. Maybe we'll talk about another nutrient like we did here today. Or we'll just talk about something random or we'll look through the Facebook post. I don't know, but we'll do something interesting. So I'll see you guys on Tuesday for episode 209 of the Daily Raw. And until then, go give your puppies and your kitties and your dogs and your cats and your other awesome pets some love from me. And Tutu and I will see you guys on Tuesday.